Hey guys, Dexter here. Welcome to the Ultimaker S5 overview video. In this video, I am going to cover all the significant improvements made to the printer in fine detail. Let's get started. So, the first thing you notice, it is size difference compared to the previous models. As you can see here, the usable build volume is now 330 on the X, 240 on the Y and 300 on the Z. And this entire build volume is also available for use whether you decide to do a single extrusion or a dual extrusion print. The S5 is also now equipped with glass doors on the front, which are nicely hinged and are easy to operate. It also includes magnetic closing mechanisms to help keep the build chamber enclosed, which makes it simpler to print advanced materials such as polycarbonate and ABS. And these are materials that need a more controlled temperature environment. Another new feature is a full color touchscreen integrated into the front panel of the printer. This is a much improved interface that makes operations easier, more intuitive and informed. You can explore menus and select options just like a smartphone. This display provides detailed information such as loaded materials, print cores and temperatures of the build plate of nozzle to update you in a job in progress. And you can also access settings and change flow rates while it's printing. On the back of the printer, the external power supply or power brick is now removed. It is now equipped with an internal power supply and cooling fans. The Ethernet port can be plugged into the office network and used as a normal network device or you can connect it via the inbuilt Wi-Fi. There is a dual spool holder and two feeder mechanisms which are on each side of the printer. The improved feeder mechanisms are now quieter and include quick release latches so they can stay unlocked for removing or adding new material. What you can't see however is that embedded within the feeders is a filament flow sensor. This enables the S5 to detect when the filament runs out. This will automatically pause your print job so you can put a new spool and resume the job. Previously, this would have meant to having to watch the printer and make sure that it doesn't run out of filament mid-print. Now you can just let it go and you'll receive a notification through the mobile app when the printer runs out of filament. Also guys, Redstack will soon have available on Thingiverse a custom spool holder so you can run the large 2.3kg spools. This will save you from having to change material mid-print. The 2.3kg spools is equivalent to 3 of these size spools. Another significant improvement is the active bed levelling. Previously, on the Ultimaker 3, it had active bed levelling, however, it only checked three points on the bed to make sure the bed was physically level. With the S5, it has a more comprehensive bed mapping system, so it maps multiple points across the bed and builds a topology of the build surface so that it can adjust and get a very comprehensive first layer of material down. This would also reduce the opportunity of print core flooding. The S5 also has two bed options. It comes with a glass bed, but coming soon, you'll be able to get an anodized aluminium bed, which will give you a far greater adhesion because it's not silky smooth like the glass. It has an improved bed frame, it is much more rigid than Ultimaker 3, which was a massive improvement from the Ultimaker 2 Plus. The improved and larger diameter linear rails on the Z axis gives it greater rigidity again. It has an improved print head, and you can see underneath, it has a much larger silicon seal to try and minimize and reduce print core flooding. The S5 is equipped with dual extrusion capabilities, and it uses the same swappable print cores as the Ultimaker 3 series. To get you started, the printer comes with two AA cores for the build material and one BB core for the water soluble support materials. The main benefit with dual extrusion is the ability to print water soluble PVA support material meaning you can print any geometry imaginable, even if it has supports that would be hard to remove internally. When the print is done, you can just drop the item in water and this PVA support will dissolve in a few hours. Finally, the printer comes with a lot of additional accessories such as all the grease, oil and tools needed to maintain the machine. It also comes with two rolls of filament, a roll of PLA plastic for nozzle 1 and a roll of PVA, the water soluble support material for nozzle 2. Well, that's it guys. If you have any feedback, please comment in the comment section. If you like the video, please support the channel by giving us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. Until next time, this is Dexter signing out.